Hey, this is Coach Jim Huber, and I'm going to take you through 15 must-have youth basketball drills to incorporate in your basketball practices this season. These drills are best for kids ages 8 to 13. We'll help them develop fundamental basketball skills, offensive and defensive concepts, as well as developing their basketball IQ. And if you're wondering when to use these drills, how often, and how long, then be sure to click on the link below in the description so you can gain access to three free practice plans. Incorporating these along with other great drills to help you get the most out of your time in the gym. Now, let's get started. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. So you're gonna throw it out yourself a pass, make a quick stop, and I want you to drop step back, put him face up. You get up on him and try to take the ball from him. Right? Get in a stance. Get out. Get out. You ready? Throw it out. Throw it out. Come to a quick stop. You ready to go? Let's go. Get up on him. Get up on him. Get up on him. Drop step back, pivot face up. Back, pivot face. Stop, stay low. Get low, get low. Filing on your ribs. All right, stop. Now, notice this though. Nick, where's the basket at? Yeah. Where are you catching it at? You're catching like 25 feet from the basket. I want you to catch it right at the three, right outside of it. So guard me, James. Right here. Quick stop. Boom, get up on me. So when I drop, get, I'm in a scoring range, right? Is what I want. Switch it up. Switch it up, right? Okay, now. Over here, I noticed Derek, just a heads up, you traveled because when you went, you uh, dropped here and then you forward pivoted. So if I drop here, it's my pivot foot, I gotta back up in space. I can't move that foot unless I pass, dribble, or shoot, right? Like you got a nail on that foot. So face, get your back, back face in the basket, guard him here, throw it out, get a white base, come to quick stop. Facing this way, Will. Throw it out, you ready to go, let's go. Let's go, go to quick stop, you gotta face up. Rip, be strong, be low, low person wins. Two, three, four, good, stop there. Now what I would do is this, I would stop there, I would stop there, and now we got a little, what we did is one-on-one, -on -one. it's kind of like a passive, maybe an active defender coming at him, so now we're getting somebody on him besides doing something just one on out. We're gonna act like we're making a fill cut. We're gonna act like this side is available open. So now, what I like to do on field cuts at times, if I have a defender right here, maybe close to me, I might even take him in a step or two and pop up to catch receive. Now, there's always people that will tell you, and I agree with this, is the quicker you can get there, better, but sometimes you might have a really good defender on you. So if I take him one to two steps in and pop, show my outside hand, now I'm taking away from where I'm going, I create a little separation, because in basketball, you gotta create space, right? The separation. So I'm gonna catch it. Now, I might come up here and decide, I might tell kids, maybe we back pivot, we catch back pivot and face. I'm looking at the basket. Don't like what I see, no shot, no in cut, nothing there. This is my life foot, I step across, so this one ain't a flick pass. Now, I'm gonna act like this is a really good defender, he jumps hard to the basketball in the passing lane. I'm gonna now make a basket rear cut off his rear, we call it a rear cut. And when you make cuts, make a direct line, straight line the basket, not circle banana cuts. And when I cut in, I'm gonna show my inside hand and I'm gonna tell James, don't give it to me. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna look like I'm finishing my cut, I can't get the basketball. So I'm gonna pop back up, guard me, guard me, come on Zach, pop up. Now I'm gonna fill back up again like we did and I'm gonna act Zach's up tight close to me I'm gonna make me call like a seven shape of seven. I'm gonna walk him up higher. He's there, I'm gonna plant my top foot turn and I'm gonna take a direct line cut at an angle to this block, the basket and go score. So it's gonna look like this, live, all right? So I'm guarding him. I'm gonna tell him, take me in a little bit, pop up, show your outside hand, face up, good. I love that stop. You don't, don't have anything, step across me, throw that flick pass. Now I jump part of the basketball, rear cut me, right through him, you don't get it, open up. Pop out, now I'm on you now. You're gonna pop up, pop up, I'm overplaying you. Backdoor cut, plant and go, give it to him. Catch and score, good. You're gonna get your rebound, you're gonna go up there, you're gonna fall past the corner, and now you're coming in, Joe. Come in a little bit, pop up, give it to him, catch face, face up, good. Throw the ball, now watch, you have, this is your pivot foot. This is your light foot, give it to him. So you forward pivot, okay. Step this foot now, throw it, flick pass, now stop. I jump the ball, rear cut me. 
straight line of basketball. Open up, pop out. Now, pop up here. I overplay you, back cut. Go, catch and score. Right, good. So coaches, I just work on that. So again, you're working on different cuts, you're combining it. You're getting them to understand, change the pace, change the direction. Again, when they cut in, show the inside hand. When they cut out, show the outside hand. Well, I'll tell kids a lot of times, come up here and guard me, Nick. So say Nick's guarding me, and he's overplaying me, overplaying me. If he's overplaying me, I don't want the ball here, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm not showing my outside hand, I'm just going. So you know I didn't show you my hand, I might give you a target, don't throw it to me, I gotta go back door. That's an old Bo Ryan type deal when he's at Wisconsin. He used to say when you make an out cut, you overplayed, and you don't want the basketball, don't show it, we know you're going back door. If you want it, show it. Going in, I'm gonna show my inside hand. And again, it's just a little one-on-one -on -one drill to get them to understand concepts of movement without the basketball, uh, making cuts to basket, being a threat, uh, putting pressure on the defense. So the block is where, when the defender's gonna go inside the lane, around the block and go out. All fits a player is gonna sprint outside the cone, they're gonna turn, direct line sprinting up to make the fill cut, right? And it's gonna become one-on-one. -on -one. Offensively, when you catch it, they need to be facing up, ball in their feet and they're thinking shot, shot, shot. If the shot's taken away, the hands are up, right? Now we know we need to counter and attack, step through, one dribble gets the rim. They have three dribbles to go score, but they can counter it where they can go one dribble, change direction, finish, pull up. They can do that as well, work on what we've done, okay? All right, you ready? Go, let's go, let's go. Sprint up, face up. Now he's got three dribbles to go score. Nice guy, move in, move in, move in, move in. You ready? Go, let's go, let's go. Sprint up, low, sprint up, low, let's go. Face up. Do it again. Now, Logan, when you go all in one as the offensive player, just be like here, sprint outside right here, just turn, face, and sprint up, right? You're not going inside, circle around. You're going inside, and you're circling out. You're going outside, you got it? You ready to go, go, let's go, sprint. Sprint up, ball in there, feet in there. Okay, so we're gonna be like this. So you're gonna be here, facing up, you're looking in, you throw it to me, you're gonna cut to the basket, look for the ball, look for the ball, finish the cut at the rim. He makes the field cut, stay. I'm gonna pass it, catch, face up, face up, pop out. Now, you're doing this. You're looking shot, looking in, and now you're looking out. You're gonna hit the corner, hit the corner, and now I want you to make a basket cut, give it to him, catch, and score. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go the opposite spot you're at. You started here, so you're going there. You get your rebound and you come here. Right, make sense? You got it, triple threat. Now, what I would love is when you pop up here, James, what you did in our passing drills, and you come up, ball in the air, feet in the air. Ball in the air, feet in the air. Come meet your pass. Make sense? Got it, get down, triple threat. Get down, get down, face basket. Here you go, Will, good. Cut hard, cut hard, cut hard. Look for the ball, look for the ball. Open up, face, good, pop out, hit him, face up, cut, cut hard, the basket, hit him and score. Good, good, right there, get your, hey, now, what I will tell you is this, get your rebound, offensive rebound, stick back, go score. Act like it's offensive rebound. Come on, James, come on, James. Put it in, put it in, put it in, put the ball on, put the ball on the basket. Good, now you're going out, now you're going out right there, all right, good, all right, here we go, face it up, face it up, triple threat, get in the stance, ball here, cut, look for the ball, Open up, get out Nick, catch face, now Nick, watch. Once you go here, I would help Nick. Come here Nick, come here Nick. Once he opens up, Nick like jogged and walked out, he can't do that. You gotta sprint. So sprint out, sprint out, sprint, sprint, sprint. Give it to him, no, look for the ball, look for the ball. Come here, come here Nick. Sprint out, look for the ball, you're just filling that open spot. Give it to him. Catch face, cut hard, give it to him. Cut hard, cut hard, give it to him, give it to him. Score, finish. Next guys, give me the ball, give me the ball, let's go. Catch face, cut, 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 look for the ball. Open up, get out. Face up, hit him, cut hard, give it to him. Go score, let's go, let's go. Ball, ball, James, go. Cut hard, cut hard. Fill up, catch face. Hit him, cut hard, give it to him, score. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tell you this. You're gonna do the same thing, but now what he's gonna do is, 
Derek's coming here. He's going to open up and face. You're popping up seeing. He's going to pop out. He's going to act like he's overplayed. Don't show your outside hand, D. You got it? Sprint out, you're overplayed, and you're going to go backdoor cut. You're going to hit him on a backdoor. Now, bounce passes. I like air passes because they're quicker in the air, flicking it, right? They get there quicker. A bounce, the ball bounces and got to come. It slows down. But there's reasons and purposes for bounce passes, right? It could be a situation maybe in the post, making a post entry, right? On the low side, right? Leading him up into a lip of big man. It could be in transition coming down, throwing it underneath the hand to a score. It could be also coming off a ball screen play and to make a pocket pass off a ball screen, right? And also it could be off a, maybe a cut going in and make a bounce pass that leads into a lip. There's purposes for him, but if we can throw air pass, we like to throw air pass as much as possible. Make sense what we're doing? Face up, face up, be a threat, let's go. Ball here, cut on, look for the ball. Open up, fill, catch face, pop out, back door, back door. Don't give it to him, don't give it to him. Will, come here, like this. You be up there, you be up there, you be the passer. Give it to her, go there, go there, D, go there, D. Go there, D, catch it, D, catch it, face up. Stay, give it to him, give it to him, give it to him. Cut, cut, ball, 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 ball. Face up, face up, back door. Now if I want you to fill all the way out, fill all the way out, sprint out, sprint out. Go back now, boom, hit him and score. So D, I want you to think about taking this guy out toward the three point line, they're overplaying you here, now I plant, turn and go back door. That's what I want, you ready to go, let's go. Set it up. Come on, come on, come on, pop. Catch face, face up. Ball here, fast, cut hard. Pop out, catch the face, back door, back door, give it to him, you gotta lead him, you gotta lead him. You gotta lead him in the pass. Ball here, get off, get off. Ball here, let's go. Cut hard, pop out, catch face, back door go. Jay, I want you to take him all the way. I want you to take him all the way out to the three-point line in this backdoor cut, right? Here we go, Zach, throw it to him, let's go. Cut hard, look for the ball, feel. Pop out, now go, give it to him, lead him, good. Catch score, finish, finish, finish. If you don't catch and face up and you just catch it and dribble, I'm gonna call a turnover. You gotta face up, you gotta look score, you gotta look in and you can look out. Got it? Here we go, play, let's go, let's go. Cut, cut art, cut art, James, look at the ball. Back door, back door, back door, Joe. Good, good, D, good, D. Rebound, rebound. Good, now, I like you attacking, got in the seams, you got two feet in, you made a made decision to go here. Now, when you are up here and they're overplaying you, do what? Just go. Back door cut. Don't sit there and keep begging back and forth. Just go. The other guy's coming and replacing you. Okay? Ball here. Blues again. Two dribble max. Two dribble max. Play it. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, James. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, D. Eyes up. Eyes up. Good attack. Good, 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 good. Now, I like how you had your movement. You penetrated, get in the lane. Defense had a bad closeout. Coaches, that's where you're gonna get a chance to attack off ball movement, player movement. They break down, now we get into the gaps, right? Here we go, switch it up, offense, defense, last one. We'll let Red do two dribbles right here, okay? You ready? Play, let's go, cut, 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 go, go, go. Back door if you ever play, face up. Good cut, Henry. Good cut, Max. Good, good, good. Yes, I like that. I want you to throw a pass right to his hands on target on time. Like a one hand a flip, I'm gonna throw chest out to him and then when the pass is thrown, you're gonna sprint out to close out. So halfway I'm sprinting out, the last halfway I'm gonna throw my weight back, chop my steps, foot to foot. The first time you play on defense, you're gonna to touch and it's live. The first time. After that, we're not doing that. You're gonna to touch and it's live. You got four dribbles to try to beat me to the middle of the floor and score. You can go this side, that side, you can go, go wherever. You can just try to get in the lane. You can go baseline, you can go middle, you can go either way. So I'm trying to cut him off, cut him off, wall up, wall up, chest to chest, and force contested shot. I don't want him in here. So coaches, what I'll do is, if the kids get into the paint, get into the lane, they get a point offensively. If they score, you get two points, right? And you're gonna keep track of your scores. So it's gonna look like this. So right here. Ball's there, Henry, Zach's here. Get in the stance, showing your hands. 
Calling for the ball, 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 step to meet it, closing out, touch him, touch him, touch him. It's live, play live, try to beat him. Try to beat him, come off, Henry. Try to come off, Henry. Good, 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 good. Wall up, try to shoot it, Zach, try to shoot it. Try to shoot, shot, right? We'll work on blockouts later, but we're gonna get tough shots, shot. Now, you get done, you're gonna come out here, Zach's off, you're gonna step on Cole, and you'll be the next one on, you'll play on this side against three against each other, right? When he shoots it and it goes, and they start to attack and go score, you're gonna throw it out. So we're getting reps after reps. So Derek, you're in a stance showing your hands, get your hips dropped, call for the ball, call Derek, communicate, step to meet the basketball, close it out, touch him, Derek, it's live. Cut him off, Derek, come off. Shot, and yell shot when he shoots it. All right, here we go. Ready, pass. Then you're gonna close out. You're gonna pass there. Go close out. Pass, max. Close out across. Pass, pass, live. Let's go, let's go. Good cut, Roy. Keep moving, space and bounce forward. Catch it face up. Good cut, good basket cut, good. Hey, I like it. So now here's what we're gonna do. I want you to work this, that these guys right here, you get an offensive rebound, you stay, you get a defensive rebound, you get a good offense, right? I want you talking, ball, 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 help, up, help, closing out, recovering, talking to each other, ready? Skip, 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 jump the ball, jump the ball. Skip, 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 shot, shot. Block out, rebound it. So you guys will be on offense. You're going to offense, you're going now defense, stay your same spots. Now, don't pass it until I say skip. So I, I use it as a coach, I'll control it, move in here, move in here, foot inside to three, good. I will communicate it so I'm making sure they're getting off, they're jumping the ball, they're closing out, they're getting their areas. Get in the stance, get down, get down, get down, get out. active hands, active hands, go. Skip, 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 get off, get off, talk, Thomas. Skip, 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 shot. Lock out, rebound it, rebound it, make or miss, you got a rebound. So we'll do that. I'll play it on a make or miss, so they get a rebound. Hold the ball. Make or miss, so they get a rebound. Ball pressure in a stance, right? Foot to foot. Now you might try to force them to a side, which is great, but don't drop the foot to let them have a direct line drive. I want them going east west. How many passes you away from the basketball? Thank you. So you're halfway what? In between ball man. You're off the line, hand on a string, right? A ball chest. How many pass you away from the basketball? How many? Uh, We're gonna act like you're two because there's gonna be a person here, space out a little further going this way. Face going that way, space out. So you're gonna act like there's someone here so you're two pass away. So you're gonna be up here, you're gonna be two feet in the paint, off on help, right? Seeing ball, man, right? Seeing ball, man, okay? How many pass you away? Three, so where are you gonna be at? You're gonna be what we call in the midline. You're crack on crack. You see the middle of the floor, you're the last line of defense that you can't let somebody dunk on us, all right? So you're protecting the basket right here, right? You're in a stance, this is the middle of the floor. Think about your split in the middle of the floor and you're seeing ball, you're seeing man, right? Okay, you're on help side, you're our low guy. Now, if the ball goes here, get in a stance, get down, Back up a little bit, back up. The ball goes here, you're gonna close out, throw your weight back, chop your steps, you jump to the ball, get off. You're gonna stay in position where you're at, but you gotta see what? Ball man. You might drop a little bit to level the ball to see ball man. James, move down a little bit. Move down, move down, move down. Guard him, stay. Now, you're staying where you're at. You're not going to help until they need it. Now, Zach, if I'm you, I'm jumping the ball, I back up a little bit, hand the string so I can stop the dribble drive. You right here, he's gonna dribble, say I beat you. If I beat you, what do you gotta do? Henry's gotta come outside the lane to cut me off. You gotta sprint here, and almost you guys are going foot to foot right here. I don't split you. Hands up like you're walling up. You can't let me throw the pass to this side. The pass can't go over here. It's gotta stay over here. If you let the ball to go that side, it's hard to guard because now I rip it across, they swing it, it's hard to close out and get there. So you guys are there. Come here, James, hold the ball. That's all you wanna do right there. Now, you're on the ball side. This is called the ball side block. 
the side where the ball's on. This is called the weak side block, the block away from the ball on the other side. You got to sprint to the top guy. You got to sprint to the level of the ball to ball side block, and you're opening up, and you're sitting there seeing ball, seeing your guy on the side. If we had a guy in the middle, he would sprint and get right here into the middle that we're gonna be forming a triangle that our house is on fire, we're protecting it, no one's coming in, we gotta get it to where we get the fire out, right? Get everybody out so we're protecting, no one comes in, no one can come in. We gotta make sure we get everything under control. You, right here, Steven, you're on the weak side. That's the weak side block, you're the top guy. Your responsibility is you gotta turn and sprint to the weak side block you got to get to the level of the ball, and you got to open up, and you got to see ball man. You cannot let this pass get across the side. This is still for you going that way. Now, the ball goes here, comes back out. Dribble out, James. All right, ball's here. You close out. One pass away in the stands. Crack on crack. Two feet in. The ball skipped. What are you two going to do when the ball skipped? When they skip the top, you got to throw it to wing. What are you going to do? You're gonna turn and sprint. You're gonna get where he is, bottom guy, right? Middle, midline, straddling. You're gonna get two feet in the paint. You're closing out. You get one pass away. I throw it. Get there. Spring it off in a stance. Now, Zach's got to get two feet in, open up, see ball, see man. Right? You're halfway in between two. Have your inside hand up. Right here in the stance, right? Now, in a stance, Steven, get down. The ball goes here. Jump to the ball, Steven, close out. See ball, see man, can you see him? You can't be a ball watcher. You gotta see ball, jump the ball, get in the stance, see ball. So I can still see him, if he cuts, I can take him on. Now, you gotta get what? Right in the middle, but you gotta see ball. Right now, you can't see your guy. You gotta open up, and you gotta see ball, man. You gotta be crack on crack, right in the midline, see him ball. You beat him, Cole. Face sign, you gotta spring it outside, Derek. No, Derek, you gotta sprint your ever living butt out. You're the guy on the baseline side. Your responsibility is the low guy on the baseline. You gotta sprint outside the lane, come, and you gotta close this off with your guy going foot to foot, no splits in here, nothing here. You gotta sprint to where? You gotta come here, you gotta turn, you gotta sprint to the ball side block, you gotta open up and you gotta see ball man. You gotta come here again. When he goes, turn, sprint, get there. Open up, open up, open up like this to see everything, right? The ball's showing back out, throw back out, close out, throw your weight back, chop your steps. In a stance, get out wide, Colton, get out wide, get out wide. So key to teaching the speed dribble, you wanna make sure they understand again, you gotta push the ball out in front of you. Don't have the ball to where you're at. Push out to where you're going. Like you're pushing out, you're sprinting to go hit the basketball. You're gonna dribble the ball higher than a stationary like control dribble type dribbles we worked on. It's gonna be more from up your waist, about your chest high, it's gonna be higher, right? And you wanna make sure we're staying still on top of the ball. Don't get it to where you're carrying the basketball because too many kids will start carrying the basketball what they do. Now what you'll find out what kids will do is they'll pound the ball, like they'll almost like dribble up hard right in front of them, will bounce high. Again, we're trying to push the ball out, sprint to the basketball, okay, is what we're looking to do in, in teaching the speed dribble. All right, coach, as you notice, we got the kids down the baseline, they're gonna be in triple threat. I wanna make sure that they don't have the ball right out in front of them, they have the ball aside protecting the basketball. We're gonna talk to them about having no false steps. They're not taking a side step, a back step. I want their step to go forward so we talk about going to the rim, going to the other end, trying to attack the basket, okay? No false steps. We talk about beating people with our feet, creating separation with the dribble. So we're gonna step, we're gonna push the ball, we're gonna go right hand, control, or speed dribble, push the ball in front of them, and I wanna try to uh, have them get down the floor as minimal amount of dribbles as possible. They're gonna come to a quick stop and making sure we're stopping without traveling with what we're doing, right? Going from fast to slowing down under control, all right? Get lower, get lower, get a base. You ready? Go, let's go, let's go. Push it out. Come to a quick stop. Quick stop. Get under control, get under control. Now you're peeling out and get out. Now make sure when you come, you're going speed dribble. You got to start chopping your steps to slow down. Come to a quick stop, get on bounce. Get on bounce. Hips apart, right? Good athletic stance. 
Going left hand, left hand. Both hands on the ball, Roost, both hands on the ball. You ready? Go, let's go, let's go. Left hand, push it out. Come to a quick stop on balance. All right, good. You can peel out from there. As we go, what I, I tell them is this, Duke speed dribbles, Coach K at Duke. And what he teaches guys, he feels like it's quicker for them to switch hands every time when they're dribbling the basketball up the floor. It could be, but what I like about it, what he talks about too, is when you're going up the floor and say you're going up the sideline, right? And you might have the sideline to protect you. You don't have to worry about it as much as if you are in the center of the floor. If I go up the middle of the floor and I'm going up the floor and I'm speed dribbling, and all of a sudden might somebody coming from behind the back tip, right? And all of a sudden now I got to wolf, wolf, wolf that back tip and they get a play going to the other end. If I sit there and I get it to where I switch every time with my hands, now the defender coming from, me, from behind can't time it. So you got to understand kind of why you do what you do, right? Just don't do a drill. There's a purpose and a reason for this. So now we're going to work on what we call Duke speed dribble. They're going to be in a good, a good triple threat athletic stance, no false steps, push forward. They're going to switch their hands every time they're dribbling, coming to quick stop, get in a stance, get down. You ready? Go, push out, let's go. Come to a quick stop, on balance, quick stop. All right, turn, get out, get out and go, let's go. You ready, ready, go. Duke speed dribble, push out. Switch hands every time, come to a quick stop. Under control, under control, balance, balance. You ready, go, go Roy, let's go. Good fake Roy, night Roy. I like that, a little fake, get a movement, coming back, nice. Ready, go, 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 let's go, let's go. Attack, Henry. Okay, good, now Henry, you make that, be nice if we can get that pass going where? Leading them in, right? Not behind, right? Good, let's go, hurry up, you ready, go, 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 go. Tag, tag, Max, get in here, let's go, let's go. Good pitch. Now on a two on one, how many pass do you think you're gonna get before the trail and defender comes back? Good time. One, max probably two. So we gotta be efficient. Ready, go, 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 let's go. Just rotate to a new line every time. Good two foot side, go. Good, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep going at him, keep going at him. There you go, good pass, good pass. Way to get your eyes up. Go, go, go. Hey Henry, I like your eyes up, seeing the floor, having vision, that's really good. Good pitch, good, good drop off. Okay, so what this drill we're gonna work on, again, is offense, defense, and transition. So a coach will have a basketball, whoever you have, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have this drill faced up, you notice all these guys in offense are on the baseline, okay? And I have individuals that are facing who they're guarding, free throw line extended right here. If I throw a ball to an individual, the individual that's guarding that person would sprint and they gotta touch the baseline with their foot and this person that got it, they're going up the floor in transition, they're thinking attack mode, right? The person that goes and runs the baseline, they can't guard them, they can't reach in and try to take it from them, they gotta sprint and then try to get back in transition. If I do this and I throw it and Ben's gotta go and I say, Ethan, Ethan would have to run too and it might be a five on three. Right, you don't have to call somebody's name, you could. You can make a five on four, it could be five on three. I could call two people's name and make a five on two. All right, now offensively, they need to be in attack mode. They need to be up the floor. We worked on transition offense. You're gonna primary, trying to, get, trying to get advantage, three on two, four on three, whatever you might get. Five on, you're five guys, so maybe it's a, a five on three, five on four, your attack mode, but also if you don't get it, we're in that secondary where you got what, rim run, you got somebody taking up, you got lanes you're running, right lane, left lane, right pitch up the floor, attack mode, okay? If you don't have anything, you can cross Main Street, we worked on, all right, here we go. Now, defensively, they really gotta talk and communicate who they have. They gotta communicate. Are right, you ready? Max, he's got ball, he's got ball, he's got ball. Talk, look up, look up, look up. Rebound it, rebound it, rebound it. All right, stop. Now, what I would do with these guys, just a heads up as a coach, 
we ran one time. What I will do is I'll let them run like two trips, three trips if they get stops. So here's how we're doing this. Come on back. Come on down this way again. Come on down. Do it again. So set it up again, but have, a, have white on offense, blue on defense, blue on defense. Now we're going to do it this way on this one, and I, and I might set up differently. White, you're going to run at them, make or miss, you guys are coming back blue. You got it? Okay, so you're going to make the sec second trip coming down. If white comes down and makes a stop on the second trip, they can run a third time. You can keep track of score and now make defense is important. They got to make a stop to earn, a, earn a, a trip back. So they could get two trips on offense. All right, here we go. JP, he's got ball, he's got ball. Basket behind. Rebound it, rebound it. More movement, movement on offense, go. Spacey movement, let's go. Good cut, good look. Get out, let's go, blue, let's go, blue. Deep outlet. Who do you have, White? Communicate, move the ball. Attack, White, let's go, let's go, let's go. Look up, look up. Good pitch, good. All right, stop there, stop. Go, 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 attack, let's go, let's go. Push out, take a lift, get there, get there. Daniel, go, 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 let's go, let's go. Get down hill, get down hill, get down hill, there we go. Go, 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 come on Derek, come on Derek. Think lift, direct, attack, push, attack, there we go, push out. Go Henry, go Henry, go Henry. Push out, push out, go attack him, go beat him, go beat him. Not yet, not yet Roy, you all right? You all right? Nothing wrong Roy, go, let's go Roy, come on Roy. Turn, direct line, think lift, attack, attack. Get him on his back, he was good change direction, good double change, good spin, go, go, go. Turn, attack, lean left, lean left. That's all right, go at him, go at him, you got him, you got him. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. All right, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Sorry, Max. Ready, go, go, go. Extend your dribble, get out in front of you. Again, he cuts you off, you can change your extra attack. Him. Go, go, go. Try to get that spinner on his back heel, take a lip. Get the rim, finish it through contact. Ready, go, go, go. Down, 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 down. Let's go, let's go. All right, switch sides, switch sides, switch sides. So wherever I throw it to, whoever gets us on offense, the other person's gonna be on defense. Now I would tell them what to work up, they can get there quick and go one foot, that's great. There's gonna be contact, they might have to go two feet, get low, finish through contact and what we do. Good two foot stop, good. Now you guys, when you go out, make sure we go both this way, both this way. There you go, good. Then there's gonna be contact, you can go off of one. And you can make it more difficult at times, coaches. You can do a couple things. You can throw it like further out where they gotta chase it and go get it and go finish, right? You can do that, go and peel out, peel out guys, go this way. You can do it that way. You can have it like this, they're ready to go, throw it out where they gotta sprint and go get it. You can make it to also to where, like I said, where it's challenging when you throw it right next to them. They got to get it, rip, put the ball out in front of them, and go finish. We hope you enjoyed these youth basketball drills. If you want to add these drills to your coaching playbook, make sure to click on the link below in the description so you can gain access to free practice plans incorporating these basketball drills. Again, if you incorporate these drills into your youth basketball practices, you'll see improvement in your team's ability to score, make stops, and have fun during the process. And make sure you click subscribe and then click the bell button so you're the first to know when we release new videos.